Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I come to bring you the truth, the message of the gospel. You see, the Bible says that Jesus came down and he died for all of our sins, that we could be made right with God. Hallelujah. You see, God so loved the world that he gave his only son for us. But how much do we truly love God? Do we love God enough to sacrifice? Do we love God enough to, to deny ourselves? Do we love God enough to do what his will is? You see, it's God's will that we obey the gospel. It's God's will that we walk in holiness. That's what the word of God says. You know, a lot of people, they laugh and they snicker. But Jesus preached about these things. Jesus shows us that we should live a holy life, a life pleasing unto God. We should live a life of staying from sin. We should no longer go back to the things that Jesus set us free from. You know, the Bible says that we should no longer get entangled into the yoke of slavery, that bond of slavery. You see, since the Lord delivered me from smoking weed and drinking and stuff like that, I'm not going to go back to that. You know why? Because I'm going to go back into sin and I'm going to struggle and I'm going to fall out of the hand of God because I walk away. And a lot of Americans today, we, we go to church, you know, on the, on the Thanksgiving and the Christmas and the Easter days, but we don't truly love God. We, we have a form of God, but we deny the power of God. Hallelujah. We, did, we love you, sister. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible also says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, amen, the Bible talks about how we as men of God and women of God should control ourselves. We should be able to walk in holiness and in honor. We should be able to do the things that God desires from us. You know, in 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, it says, For the true love of God is this. So if we truly love God, this is what we will do. We will obey His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. That's what the Word of God says. You see, the Bible gives us instructions on what we ought to do. But we like to do our things our own way and go around God. But the Bible says no one can climb their way to heaven. He can't. You have to go through Christ. You must be born again. The Bible says in John 3, 3, that if a man is not born again, he will not inherit the kingdom of God. He will not inherit. He will not go to heaven. That's what that means. So have you been born again? Have you been filled with the Spirit? Hallelujah. Has God transformed your life? Do you now resent the things that you used to do? Hallelujah. There's so many things that I resent that I did. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful that Jesus Christ cleaned me up and put me on the path of righteousness. Hallelujah. And His Spirit, amen, His Spirit's now leading me into all righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lot of people think, man, I can't stop sinning. I can't get set free from this. But Jesus is so good, He said a comforter so that we can. We can't do this by ourselves. We got to do it through the Spirit of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible also says, I think it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, it says 7 through 8. It says, God, oh, I just forgot it. Praise God. I'll summarize it for you. It talks about how God has not given us the purpose of impurity, but in sanctification. Hallelujah. It's God's will that we be sanctified. And any man who rejects this is not rejecting man, but rejecting God who gives us the Holy Spirit. You see, it's God's will that we walk in holiness. Hallelujah. So you must repent from your sins. You must repent and turn away and trust in the Lord. Call upon God. Call upon the Lord. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. They got a nice car. <laughs> Hallelujah. But in all seriousness, brothers and sisters, we gotta repent. We gotta turn from the things. We gotta turn from the things that so easily entangle us. You gotta turn away from pornography. You gotta turn away from lying. You know, everyone likes to say homosexuals go to hell, but liars go to hell, man. Liars go to hell. Thieves go to hell. Fornicators go to hell. People, hell is real and it's hot, and people are truly going there, and that's the truth. The Word of God talks about these things. Jesus talked about these things. We got to truly read the Bible. Read it for what it says. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming back. And he's not going to come back with, with a dozen rows in his hand. The Bible says that he's going to be angry. Hallelujah. He's mad. God sent his son to die for us. And the world still lives in sin. The world still rejects us, especially Americans. We are so privileged. We know the gospel. We, we, know, we know the gospel that God sent his son. But we have no, we have no transformation. We don't truly live for God. We live for ourselves. When we live for the flesh. And the Bible says if you live for the flesh, hallelujah, you will die. But if you live with the Spirit, you walk by the Spirit, there's eternal life. We have to actively pursue God. We have to willfully pursue God. It can't just be, uh, man, every Sunday. It has to be every day. It's a moment by moment thing. The biggest, the, the, the number one thing in our lives as Christians is we should want to please God above all else. We should want to put God first above all things. Are you truly putting God first? 
Are you truly putting them first? Are you putting TikTok first? Are you putting your, your brand new appliances first? Are you putting the restaurant first? Are you, are you putting your car first? Are you putting things above God? Because if you are, that's an idol. Hallelujah. And idolatry, that's a sin. Idolatry will not inherit the kingdom of God. We got to put God first. We got to live for the Lord. You got to repent, brother, and turn from your sins. We, got, we all got to do it, every one of us. Hallelujah. But Jesus is coming. He's coming, brothers and sisters, and the wrath of God is coming with him. And that's true. That's biblical. I encourage you to read your Bible and read what it says. Don't, don't, don't just take my word for it. Open it up. Read it. Read what the word of God says. Read the wisdom of God. Read the knowledge of God. Oh, yeah. The word of God transformed me. I was drug dealing. I was robbing people. I was living in sin. Hallelujah. Addicted to drugs. Now bad. But when I came to know God, let me tell you, lady. When I came to know God, you know what he did? He transformed me. That's what he did. He transformed me. And he can transform you too. He can make you brand new. Hallelujah. He can create in you a new heart, a clean heart. And he can, he can bless you with fruits of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 With patience, with kindness, with goodness, with gentleness, with meekness. Hallelujah. 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 You see, the Bible says that Jesus came, amen. And what did he came for? He came to set us free from sin because sin sends us to hell. Hallelujah. Sin sends us to hell. And it's God's will that we be able to control our bodies, to walk in holiness and honor. You see, the Bible says in Colossians 3, 6, that the wrath of God abides on the sons of disobedience. Hallelujah. Everybody loves John 3, 16. We love you, man. Everybody loves John 3, 16. But if you keep reading, man, just finish the last scripture of that chapter. It says, if you do not obey Christ, you will not see eternal life. That's what the word of God says. You see, it cuts the heart. It convicts. Hallelujah. It convicts. God. Hallelujah, man. God is good, brothers and sisters. But God is just. God is pure. And God is holy. Above all things, God is holy. And the Bible says that we are supposed to be called a peculiar people, a sanctified, a holy people of God. But we're not in America. We're lazy. We glutton. We live in sin. You know, and I did the same thing. I was living in sin. I was all caught up. But when I came to the realization that I needed God, when I came to the realization that I'm going to go to hell because I'm doing things that are displeasing to God, you know what he did? He put a right spirit in me. I had to repent for my sins and turn to God. And he renewed me. He gave me a new heart and a new mind. A miracle happened when I met Christ. Oh, my mind was wicked, perverted. I only wanted to scam people. I only wanted to rob people. I only wanted to kill people. I only wanted to dishonor people. That's all I ever wanted to do. But with Christ in my life, he gave me a new mind. That was a miracle from heaven. My tongue was perverted. Only perversion came off my tongue. But when I came to God, he gave me a new tongue. He gave me a God new God bless you guys. Hallelujah. My body was an instrument of, of, of ungodliness. Hallelujah. But when I came to God, now my body is an instrument of holiness, brothers and sisters. And the Bible says that we are saved by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Woo! Are you saved? If you don't got a testimony that you really came and encountered the true and living God, and that's what I'm trying to say, we have got to come to the knowledge of the true and living God. We got to do it. You have to. A painting has a painter. A building has a builder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And creation has a creator. And this creator has a standard. Hallelujah. He has a standard. And we don't live by it. You know why? Because the flesh. The Bible says you got to deny yourself and walk after the spirit. Because if you walk after the flesh, that's death. That's destruction. I'm here to let you know, brothers and sisters. I'm here to show you the light. Is that Jesus, hallelujah, can set you free from destruction. He can set you free from sin. Hallelujah. He can redeem you. He can give you a new mind. He can give you a new mouth. He can give you a new body. He can give you new desires. But what you got to do is repent. You got to repent. You got to understand the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, Pro in Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, it says, My son, hallelujah, my son, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, 
We got to do that with God. We got to receive the word of God. We got to treasure the word of God. We have to desire the word of God. And then he says, if you make your if you make your ears attentive to wisdom and incline your heart to understanding, we have to want the wisdom of God, people. Then you will discern the fear of the Lord. So after we come to the knowledge that there's a God, he has a standard, we're not living by it. Now we have to come to the fear of God. That we have to reverence God, respect God, because if we don't do that, we just willfully walk into hell. We willfully doing it. Because God's not gonna let sin into heaven. If we don't want purity, we don't want sanctification, we don't want holiness, why will God let that into in heaven? But that's all we're gonna have in heaven, hallelujah. We tell this because we love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My son, you will receive my word and treasure my commandments within you. Make your ears attend to the wisdom and incline your heart to understanding. Then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. See, when we understand we got to fear God and respect Him, and after we go on to that, then, hallelujah, then we can discover the knowledge of God. Then we can grow in relationship. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's up to you, brother, if you want to. It's up to you. I can preach if you want to. He can do the same for you, but you got to realize your need for it. You got to realize that with God's standard, hallelujah, according to God's standard, if you're not living in purity and holiness, you don't really want God. You don't want him if you're not doing that. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 6, if we eventually sin, we do not know God. I've never known God. If we say we do, we're a liar. You see, we have to realize the destructive nature of sin. You see, God tries to paint a perfect picture for us. He tries to give us a perfect illustration. We want God to bless us. We want God to move for us. We want God to do amazing things. Hallelujah. I do too. But whenever we start willfully sitting and going against God, we start messing up his painting. So we have to restart and it takes time. A lot of people, they up here struggling, depressed, suicidal, got anxiety. They 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 down bad and addicted to things. But what, the, what they don't want to do is they don't want to be patient with the word of God. They, they, they don't want to pursue God so God can actually form them and make them and bless them. But God can't bless somebody who's going to live in wickedness, brothers and sisters. I encourage you today, hallelujah, to repent. Realize your need for a savior. If you're not born again, if you're not filled with the spirit, the Bible says in John 3, 3, you'll go to hell. And that's the truth. I'm tired of this gummy bear. Hey, Christianity. sister. This, hallelujah. 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 God is good. Praise God. We're tired of this gummy bear. Good to see you, sister. What's 